Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name's Paul and today I'm going to show you how to make your code responsive using media queries. So when you're designing web pages, you generally want the mobile site to be different to the desktop site because there's more space on the desktop. So you want different CSS to be delivered based on the user's screen size. Okay, so let's look at a live example. Not the most exciting example you're ever going to see, but it proves the point. I have a red square in the top left hand corner of the page. And no matter how big my browser window is or my screen size, it's going to stay a red square. So if we jump into HTML, you see I've got a very simple document here in the body. I have one div, which I've given the class of square. And then up in the style section, I've defined my CSS. So for the class square, it's the background color of red and the height and width of both 200 pixels. And so there's only one style I've defined for the square. So no matter how big my screen size is, it's just that one style. But what I can do is I can add in a media query. So the simplest form of a media query, there are different types, but the simplest one, if you just type in at media, and then in brackets, you say, what is the minimum width that the screen size has to be in order for this new style to kick in? So let's go for 960. And then what you do is you add some curly brackets and inside those curly brackets, you're going to define the new CSS. So let's just grab what we already have and put it in here. Now, I don't want the height or the width to change, so I could leave them, but for simplicity, I'll just remove them. But I do want the background color to change. So let's go from red to yellow. So what this means is our default CSS is up here. But if there's a screen size that's a minimum of 960 pixels, then use this one instead. So let's just save that to the browser and refresh. So now what happens is on my small screen, it's still red. But the moment I get to 960, it changes to yellow. And it will stay yellow for as wide as my screen is unless I add another media query. So let's add one more. If I copy that media query and I paste it just below, I can give it a higher value. So let's say 1200. So this means the box will be yellow until it gets to a screen size of 1200, and then it's gonna use this media query. So let's change that to blue. So just to reiterate, we start with the default style, which is gonna have the background color of red. But if the screen size is at least 960, a minimum width of 960, then it's gonna use this query, this CSS. Whereas if it's got a minimum of 1200, then use this particular CSS. So if I save that and go back to the browser, what we see is that the default CSS on the small screen is red, but if a screen size is at least 960, then it will change to yellow, or if it's a minimum of 1200, then it will change to blue, and it will stay blue for as wide as we go unless we add another query. So that's how you can deliver different CSS using media queries. Thanks for watching.